Greetings and welcome back to Timberborn. I'm Catherine of Sky and we are back. Oh my gosh, I've been playing a lot of my test game actually. And so this, uh, coming back to this is kind of uh, interesting. I've built a little bit differently in that test game and it's kind of kind of cool. So anyway, huge thank you to all of my wonderful patrons and supporters and all everybody thank you so much for for just being you and uh yeah you're great a few people noticed that this windmill is or this wind mine i oh whoa whoa look what's happening now i had a couple of people ask why do i have an irrigation tower this is why we're gonna turn it on right now um so the way irrigation towers work is that um they constantly lose water or they constantly irrigate uh, so the turning on is basically turning on beavers taking water to the tower. Uh, if you turn it, if you pause it, it will not stop the water from flowing. Okay, so here we go. Ooh, that's why we have an irrigation tower. That is the reason right there. <laughs> so that our crops don't die because they do die extremely quickly if you don't have water. Now, these guys lose a lot of water. Um, well, per second, per whatever. Uh, so there is another method to watering crops, which we'll talk about once we get some dynamite, um, but, or explosives, I forget what they're called. Um, anyway, I, it's kind of cheaty though, so I don't really like to use it. This is the proper way of doing things, I feel, because the other way is a little bit not balanced. A lot of people have said, oh my gosh, you know, you use one thing of water every five days. And this one is, let's see, how is this, like 21 hours of water right now. And it's filled with, can we see how many waters are in there? Yeah, 40 things of water lasts 20 hours. Okay, now that the river is flowing once again, we're going to pause the irrigation tower. And again, it's going to just keep on leaking out uh, because that's the way it works. So a couple of people mentioned that this wind mine is not connected. Thank you very much for letting me know. I've kind of completely forgot about that. Uh, I didn't see it, I think, because of the way the direction was there. So let's just put another gear thingy thingy there. And yeah, we need to get that going. And that's going to be that. So what do we need here? We have, this is our paper mill. We want to kind of look and see what is going on. So it looks like we don't need any more paper or we haven't needed paper. We have 11 unemployed people. Let's get those people working. Uh, we do need paper. We have plenty of logs. Let's check our other district and make sure those unemployed people are not here. Okay, so we have five unemployed there. So that would be six in the other district. So that's just fine. Uh, right now, one thing that I was testing and I had a little bit of fun with is you can actually create, somebody asked me this and I was like, oh yeah, yeah, let's check it out. So you, these uh, second story, uh, story dwellings, they can actually be like this. And I actually tried in my test game blocking off the entire river with triple lodges that were just anchored on the shore like this. And the water still flows through. Uh, they do not function as dams. They look really strange, but they do work. And they do not get evacuated when the water comes back. So it's just fine there. Uh, but here I kind of want to do something a little bit different. We're going to need a little bit more water production in this area. So what I'm thinking is I might move this elsewhere. Um, and or maybe I'll just move this out completely. Uh, let's see what we can do here. I want to move this to maybe there, potentially. And this I want to delete because I want to start getting some of these trees deleted. Here, are these trees up for demolition? Yes, they are. Okay, so I'm going to let them cut these trees. And then I'm going to start building out a little bit of platforming here. So that we save a little bit of this area. Because we're going to be building a lot of stuff out here. I've kind of decided what I want to do. And it's going to be... We're going to need to have a little bit more... Um, actually, you know what we could do? No, I don't know. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, we're going to just uh, do the thing. It'll be fine and do like this. This is what I want. This is enough for two water, uh, water pumps, which we'll need. So yeah, let's go. Let's go do the thing. All right. Do we have enough people here? Yeah, we have five unemployed people. So that's kind of great. Um, let me look at how our trees are standing. 
Let's pause this real quick. So it looks like we have many maple trees. I don't know why. Oh, I planted them in a ring. That's an interesting idea, isn't it? Uh, I want to change that. I want to completely change that. It's horrible. No, no. We're going to plant them in lines here and we'll do some birch trees, which are the quick growing trees like Oh, okay. It's not... Oy. We planted many maples, that's why. Okay. And then pines are the second fastest growing, so we'll, we'll have a stripe there. And then the maple will be out here, I think. Uh, and that'll be fine for them to function that way. I think that's going to work pretty nicely. Now, this uh, pathway is not ideal. Uh, what we want to do is to make sure that I think we're going to move this path slightly. So we're just going to change it right now to be this way instead. Because if we want to connect more machines, we're going to need those gears to go across. And usually it looks like this is only on the first level. It's not a second level connection. So we need to kind of make sure and make like a little bridgey to go over if we cross uh, this area. So let's take this out for now. All right, and we're gonna go. We really need to get at least one of these functioning. Let's put this one on higher priority than that one. That's fine if it's on less, good, good. And this area, I think we might even grow it enough to actually get some uh, population here. And we might wanna start doing some farming. Uh, and to do that, I kind of want to go into this area because this is a huge area that we could use for farming. Uh, but we need to get this metal up and running first. So that is our most important thing that we need to do. We just need gears from uh, the main city over here. Now, how are we doing on gears? We have, we have one gear. Oh, yay. Great. <laughs> I think what I want to do is I'm going to pause construction on some of these things. Okay, so here we've got our gear there. Let us get the next intersection there. And this needs what? This also needs gears. I think we're going to leave this. So a couple people pointed out, and this is a UI thing that I hope will get changed. Please change this. So here we see the population and well-being, that what needs we are fulfilling. But we don't see any bonuses, and this is what confused me. So I made a mistake in a previous episode where I said that there are no detriments for not fulfilling these things. Because if you click on a beaver, you actually see the effects of hunger and stuff. So social life gives them fertility of plus 50%, fun working speed plus 15%. Nutrition one, life expectancy, strength, carrying speed, uh, walking speed, working speed. These are really great bonuses. Um, so yeah, that that's a huge thing that I, I kind of missed because it's in a weird part of the UI. I really wish it was here. It should be here so that you can see it. It never even occurred to me to click on individual beavers because it's not very much like a regular colony builder where each beaver has specific traits and it has needs and whatever. They all are the same basically. So it was like, yeah, they're just like little, little rodents running around who cares. Um, but yeah, I guess we should definitely care. And um, we did care about this, except I put this in the wrong spot, apparently. Uh, let's move this storage uh, unit over here. And this is what? What do we have here? This is wheat. All right. So we want to just empty this building. And I don't think it's going to go anywhere until we actually build this one. So hopefully our little beavers will get to work on that one. And I'm just going to watch them build it because uh, it's, yeah, it's going to be built. And then we have to click the thing quickly. So let's do allowed none. And then we're going to put our wheat in here. Hello, wheat. There you go. Yay. Okay, so that's that fixed. And this one will get emptied into there, I think. Hopefully they will transport stuff in there. Now, let's see. Here's our hauling post. If we have extra people in our town to not do stuff, let's see. We have 10 unemployed in this particular part of the city. So let's just put some more workers, workers on hauling. Uh, what about our distribution post? They are, you know what? Let's put two people there just in case. It looks like they're having a good time. They're transporting stuff that we need here. Paper, planks. Uh, wow, we have a lot of paper here. Good lord. Um, did we fix that? I think, yeah, it's down to 10, but I think we have to spend all that paper first before they're gonna 
do much about it. Now, this one needs gears. We're still at 12 of 20 gears, but hopefully we're going to be getting some of that via the distribution. Now, I do want to make sure that we have enough food here. One thing that we can do is tell our forester to plant some berries just for, you know, emergency rations kind of thing. Um, we'll see about that. Let's see. We need to get our... Let's fix these last bits over here. And make sure that this stuff is functioning like we want it to. Sure. These guys are going to have to grow up and get cut, I think, uh, in order to do what we want them to do. Do we have enough people here? We have four unemployed here. So what do we want them to do? I think there's not much other than waiting for those darn gears. Uh, but they are making these different machines so that we can get that progressed. Now, what we can do is we can start making the bridges here if we want to. Uh, I have in mind a special kind of a bridge. Do we have enough? We have enough science points, which is kind of nice. Um, we can also look at making some campfires and stuff. Now, one of the things that I think is kind of an interesting thing that we can do is, and here's a nice little hole here. If we remove this area, we can actually farm down here in the dry season, which is kind of fun. So I might just do that. Let's see. Here I have, um, let's change this slightly. Let's put a platform there and stairs down here like this. So we have a little bit of an entry going down there. Um, how do we want to do this? I want to give them some entertainment. So they have the rooftop terrace, but I feel like we need to give them some more stuff. Uh, that's a social thing, social life. This is a campfire. Now the campfire, I also discovered, quick tip for you, it cannot go on platforms. Like you cannot build these uh, platforms. It has to be on the ground. And I guess that makes sense. But anyway, let's make a temple for these folks uh, and put one up here. I feel like this is a nice like vista for them. This is a great place for them to go and worship their beavery gods. And it just feels like a, a nice thing to do for them. So let's build, let's see, some stairs. So we are missing gears. By doing the stairs, we're not really betraying the stairs project. <laughs> it should be okay. Let's see what we want to do here. Can we do a... We can do this. Yes, we'll do that. Okay. I like, I like to make a little bit of curly stairways. I think they're quite fun. So if we put a road like this, I think it will be nice. There we go. So that's going to go there. And I know that I, I want this road coming kind of this way. I have plans for what to put over here. Uh, and it's going to be kind of fun. So let's see. What can we do here, though? Can we make... I want to make a road like here-ish. And I want to see what we can do with the bridges. We have a max of six by one. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now that would work. Or we could do a, let's see, three. Let's unlock this one. We can do a three. Oh, no, no. Delete. Sorry. Let's delete this one. Yes. And see if we can do two threes. Yeah, look at that. Hey, looks good. Can we connect this that way, though? No, but we can do that. And here, I think that we can do something like bushes or something decorative over here. And that looks like a really nice bridge, doesn't it? I think it's kind of great. Now, the threes are really lucky because they are the last ones to use only planks. The rest of them need metal. So that's a nice thing. The other thing that you can do is I apparently in my test game, I did a longer bridge as in a seven bridge. I put a little chunk of a block down there. The um, I think it was the levee. Yeah, it was the levy block, which is just if you let's buy this. It's like a it's like a block like that. And it completely blocks water. Right now we haven't had a need for one. I think someone was trying to tell me in the comments and I didn't really understand what they said, uh, but they wanted me to make, I think, a little square of levy uh, to make a uh, the, the sort of um, water dump thing which I feel definitely is an exploit of the game. I mean, it's obviously it's in the game, but it uses so much less water than the 
irrigation tower. It just feels kind of weird, but I do want to show you that when we get expl explosives, because I feel like that's a more efficient way of doing things is using the explosives instead. So anyway, what I want to do here is I think I want to get a, hmm, I think we need to remove this stuff here, these barriers. So let's take those down. Let's delete. Hello. That's not the right thingy. Delete, delete. Where's the delete? There it is. Sometimes I swear it's like, can't find the thing I'm looking for. So I, I do want to irrigate this entire area, except I also want to build a dam over here. Perhaps um, floodgates instead. How many points we have? 959. So let's build some stuff here. Floodgates are kind of cool because what they do is they give you the ability to have... Um, like raise uh, or lower the water level. They don't, <laughs> you can't raise the water level, but you can lower it for sure. So if we build these floodgates here, we can actually open them up if we need to. So I feel like that's a good idea. So this is uh, 20 logs and 10 planks, and that's fine. What we do need to do is build a, uh, a path here because otherwise it's a little bit too far. Now I want to build it a tiny bit away from this uh, and that will become apparent later later uh, all right let's go this way sure yeah there okay that's fine and we need to get our stairs there and a path here because paths vastly extend the distance that your beavers can construct stuff Okay, here we go. We got the thing. Hooray. All right. So we should be making metal very shortly. Okay. Hello. Hello. Where? Why? Hello. Why we have no, no scrap metal. Let's go. Go, go, go. Oh, really? Come on. Okay. Well, let's open up this scrap metal as well. I think it's, um, I'm not sure how many scrap metals. I think we might need two scrap metal, um, scavengers per one shredder because it takes two of those to make one metal block uh right now we have this beautiful water wheel uh we also i think i would like to have a windmill or seven uh and i want to build that let's see power large windmill yeah that's working here because we really are going to need these later, later. So, let's see. We can build a high power shaft there. Okay. And then, let's see. The angle is good. So, we'll build this here. And a shaft there. Sure. That looks good. Kind of great. Kind of really great. Now we're going to build. Hmm. I don't know if this is in the way or not. We'll have to check. But I think we'll be able to build. Let's pause this just to see if they can get through here. Let's build a couple of uh, stairways up here. And make sure that they can get up there. I don't know if they can get up here though. I don't think so. Let's try that. See if they can get past this one to get up to this uh, platform or not. We shall see. Otherwise, we'll have to kind of go down this way and then we'll have to remove stuff. But for now, it will work. And I'm very happy with uh, this result here. Oh, oh, look, look what we got. We have a space for a water pump. Let's get that going. Hooray. And oops, I forgot the path apparently. So let's take this over here and remove this stuff here. So I need to take off this bit, these bits, and one of those bits, and we need to delete. Yeah, okay, it's deleting that. That's fine. Good, good. Okay, looking pretty good. Now let's get our road over here. Get that going. Make sure that we can get that. All right, guys, take off the tree, please. Say goodbye to tree. Yeah, get the tree. Hello? Hello? Oh, it's so cool. They're enjoying themselves on the rooftop terrace. That's so fun. I like it. It's really neat. 
And I do love all these roofs. They are fantastic. They really make the whole thing, I think. It's really great. All right. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. And what I also want to do is, let's see. I might, let's just, I think I need to delete this building. I don't think that it's going to work. Uh, let me just try to put this on ultra high, these. And that one as well. And see if that works. And if not, I'm going to have to just remove that building. Because I have a feeling like they can't pass by it. So we're going to have to get to it in a different way. And that's okay. It's perfectly fine. So let's get these guys. A couple of um, stuffs here. Yep, there we go. And we kind of have a tiny a tree emerge. Oh no, they can get past it. Perfect. Oh, that's nice. All right, hopefully we can get one that takes that tree down. How many people do we have? Six unemployed. I think it's actually worth creating a labor thingy thingy hauling. No, a builder's hut because we have so much stuff that needs to be built. I think uh, it's a good idea to actually build it instead of waiting for it. So I think I'll put this thing hmm, maybe there, maybe there. Maybe there. That actually might be okay. Or no, I don't know. Here, we'll put it there. We'll, we'll have them like attached to a stairway. That could be funny. Fun, funny, something. Let's see, give them stairs and a path. And we're gonna mark this as high because this is gonna help us build stuff. And this should require just planks and logs, which we have a little bit of, so this is good. But I definitely want to get this windmill done because we are going to get these metal blocks and that is going to be so good. Now, do we actually have any here? Wait, why is this storage being used by multiple things? Okay, maybe we didn't set it up. Bottom one is also for everything, apparently. This be bad. All right. Yes. All right. I think we did them for decorative purposes here. What we need to do is we want to get our metal blocks uh, stored here. On the bottom, metal blocks. We're just going to remember that and it'll be fine. And then we need to build a hauling thingy-majingy. Oh, this is so cool. Look at this. It's so beautiful with all the all of the water in here. It's so nice. Um, all right. So... We also can make this bridge. I really want to make a bridge here that's quite nice and pretty and interesting looking. So, but right now our major concern is actually that we have no, no wood. And this is very, very bad. So I think what I'm going to do is we're going to cut these trees here. And what I, what I want to do is probably just replant them as maples. Let's see, plant tree. Oh wait, we need to get our road first now that they remove that tree. Uh, and I wanna, I like these maples here. I think they look quite pretty. So I want to just, uh, or actually they're birch. Never, <laughs> they're birch, not maple, Never mind. It's fine. We'll leave those. We'll kind of plant them the whole way here. Um, maybe we'll even have some bushes, berry bushes up here. I don't know, we'll see. We shall see. It will be fine. Okay, so birches are living there. Um, we have many, many trees over here. We are cultivating those quite significantly. We can build the printing press, but we need our metal blocks for that. Now, we created a distribution post here. Now, did this one get emptied? It's almost emptied. We can actually probably delete it. Wait, what is in here? Berries. Ah, yes, we shall delete this then. Goodbye. And we shall try to remember that that's for our monument. Now, the distribution post, um, we kind of need to have the corollary for that, which is our... Uh, uh -huh -huh. There it is. Drop-off point. So I want to build one drop-off point where? Maybe there, potentially? No, maybe not. That's where our bakeries are. Kind of want to have those all in the same area. So let's put this one here. And this thing is going to accept metal blocks. So let's see. Metal blocks. We want to trade. And 
Um, let's see. Hi, resources. I Okay, so this description is so misleading. I realize what could make it better. They just say from a district. They should say from this district. As in resources below this limit are not carried out from this district and are prioritized by incoming distributors. High resources above this limit are not carried into this district because a district, I kind of thought it was like the one you're sending it to. So it's not. Um, anyway, uh, let's see. We need to, and this one should be not received by this district instead of not carried into. Uh, it seems like a very strange description. But anyway, that's what we're going to do. We're going to receive those metal blocks into here. Now, um, we need to build the other building. Okay, all the beavers are asleep. So let's do that. Let's get a distribution post. We want to have, let's do one, two, one, two, three. Actually, it fits quite nicely there. So we'll put it there. Uh, and here, we might think about doing some berry bushes. But we kind of desperately need trees too. <laughs> so, so that's kind of important. Let's just put some bushes out here though that we can kind of grow, which is fine. And then we also would need a person to gather them, which is a gathering flag, which can be put there. And I will put in, I want to see if they can go behind this building. So if we make this gathering flag, I want to see if they can plant behind there or not. Let's see, gathering flag is almost done. Okay, there's the gathering flag and I'm going to put bushes behind it. I'll put one there as well and one there as well. Okay, we are having the lumberjacks doing work. And I don't think they can actually go into this forest. That is inconvenient. <laughs> That's very inconvenient. But we might have, just have to live with it. Um, anyway, but we should get those bushes growing. And this is just to supplement our food a tiny bit. It doesn't have to be a lot. It's, it's fine if it's not a lot. Let's see, how is this going? We did build the builder's hut, which is kind of great. We still have... Let's see, we still have three unemployed... Uh, we can open this up to have more workers there. And this thing is going to get made. Wow, well, they're really prioritizing the planks there. Isn't that interesting? Okay, so this got done. Wow, windmill got completed. That's pretty great. So here, what we want to do is we want to create some shafts to go and connect to these. So let's build some bits and pieces here that we know we need. Let's actually delete this. Yes. We can put a straight shaft there. It's a little bit cheaper. This can be a straight shaft as well. Uh, so let's get those done first. And then we can get other things happening. So that's pretty great. All right. So I want to make this bridge. I think we were kind of sidetracked on that. Let's see. This is way too short. But we can build one here. Like that. With a road. Hello, road. And then, how long is this one? We need two more tiles. This is four, five, this is three, four, five. Let's buy the, wow, that's expensive. 1600 for that by itself. Okay. I think it might be time to get more people living here. Let's see, what do we have in here? We have all of these things which should not be in here. No, help. <laughs> Okay, so we need, I think we need to fix this warehouse thing. I don't know if we actually fix it. It seems to be unfixed right now. Uh, wow. Okay, so it has books, explosives, gears, paper, and planks all in one warehouse. That is a disaster. Um, okay, let's fix it. Let's just do our thing and fix it. Okay, storage. We need to have several warehouses. So let's figure out how many we need. We need, let's see, one for books, one explosives, gear. So it's one, two, three, four, five different warehouses. That's okay. We can do this. It's fine. Um, I think, let's see, how do we do that? Put one over here as well. 
Uh, I, I like to do uh, upward thinking too. So what I want to do is get some of these little guys and move them here. Hmm. We need to make this interesting. That works right there. Okay, so that works if we do this. Yes, okay. Uh, and then we need some support over here. And now we can build some stairs. We want the staircase here. And then we'll have our path there. More path here. We'll have like a double decker thing. So we have one, two, and that's, we need five, right? So these guys are obviously, those are for supporting stuff. And then we'll put these guys right there. Oh, that's nice. Look at that. And it curls around the road. It's perfect. It's very nice. Except we still need one more. <laughs> we need just one more. Um, hmm. How do we want to do that? I think we can put it across from here, maybe. That would work. Let's see, that's a house. Let's see how we want to do this. Not that one. That'd be the wrong one. And here, we can actually make a little bit more on the side of... Uh, population increasement. Mm -hmm. So, oh, no, we can't. Okay, so this is too close to a windmill, so we're not allowed to put a path here. So let's delete this, and we'll delete that as well. And that path can also be deleted. Darn it. Um, hmm. I really would like to put stuff over here. I really wanna. Really, really wanna. We could do another, like, a curly thing right here. That is a possibility. But maybe it's best to just leave it alone. I don't know. Anyway, let's leave that as it is for now. And let's choose warehouse stuff. What do we got in this one? This one has 200 stuff. So this is going to be planks, I think. This is going to be our plank house. Okay. Okay, this one is done. Let's go none... And this one will be our... What was the other one that had stuff? Gears, maybe? We had gears somewhere. No, it was paper. That's right. Let's make this one for paper. And then we'll get the other ones going on as soon as they're finished. This is really kind of fun to get these uh, warehouses and stuff going. And get the... Maybe some decorations here as well. Because I do like to have those different roofs. I think they look very cool. Let's see this one could do like this i do like this roof very much uh let's see one by two no so we can do this one there i like to have them be different because it adds to the variety and it looks more interesting okay this one has too many things already Whoa, God, that was crazy. Did you see that wild, like, line of beavers? That was nuts. Jeez. So silly. Dang. Okay. Okay, beavers. Let's go, go, go. Please. Make stuff. Okay, so they should be bringing... Oh, they are bringing the logs. Good. Okay. Very cool. Oh, one is done. Okay, so we're going to go none here. And this is going to be... What? Hmm. Gears? I think gears. Yes? Good. I'm not even going to set the limits because it's just... The warehouse system is so... I don't want to say broken, but it doesn't work very well. It doesn't work like you would expect a warehouse to work. Um, and I hope that gets changed. Alright, so we need books here. And I think explosives is going to be in this warehouse. Cool. And they already made build progress. Hooray! Okay, cool. There, oops, well, huh. That was not quite what I wanted to do. There we go. So now, what do we got going here? Here is our printing press. Now, we also need an explosives factory, which uh, is made with metal blocks. So let's see if we can get that going. It's under landscaping. There it is, 400 points. So let's put this right here. This is what we want. Hooray. And then dynamite we also want to unlock as well. Oh, this is going to be so good. Gosh, it's going to be great. 
So did we create the trade route? I don't think we did. So let's make ourselves a trade route. Add a new route to here, please. And we want to send uh, metal blocks. Now go. Now they should deliver many metal blocks. And I think we have, do we have a, is this the storage for them? Um, wow, this is apparently, why is it that, oh no, they aren't checked. It just, that one is checked. Good. So we have four metal blocks there. Oh, oh, people are doing stuff. They're carrying things. Hello. Oh, they're sending the metal blocks. Nice. Hey, that's great. Okay, cool. So we probably only need like two people on this trade route. Honestly, we don't need more. Maybe we even need one. Uh, not something that we really need. So let's see. This is doing fine, except trees grow so slowly. Oh my God. Um, let's see. I think oh, this area is difficult to predict right now, but they can actually work on these things, I think. Um, if they do these guys, they need to do these stairs and things. And I'm not quite sure why. Oh, we are sure why they haven't done it. It's because of lack of trees. I think what I want to do is increase the limit for logs that they deliver. Let's look at this and say, let's deliver 30 logs instead. And then I can go over to this distribution post and just, well, we have the maximum amount of beavers there. So that's good. Okay, so this is happy. Hey, hey, look at those roofs. They look so nice. Okay, and we decided that one is, is explosives. That's kind of perfect. Pretty good, pretty good. Okay, so this windmill is here. <laughs> it is there, isn't it? Um, yeah, we can't really put the stairs around here. That is kind of a sad thing. But uh, we can do something like put a path over this section if we want to or uh even better maybe maybe what we do is actually go up from here and do a third story thingy majingy or we could do a one platform there and one there and do this there because what we can, let me just see how this is going to work out. If we put a house here, like a double lodge, actually, I want to get the triple lodge, man, my, my tastes are getting too expensive for our budget over there. We can put this one here. Oh, that's great. That is kind of cool. And then here we can put a one story thing like a regular lodge. Oh yeah. Look at this. Or potentially we could even have an inventor's hut here. But I think we're going to need more population and we can just build more inventor's hut as, huts as well. We can also put a mini lodge right there uh, because it looks nice and it's going to give us a lot of variety and height. I love, I love height changes and stuff. I think it's very cool. Um, all right. So let's get our triple platform, which is going to not be there. Double is enough, apparently. <laughs> uh, and you get stairs. Oops. Hello. Stairs. And then path. Yep. There we go. Path and path and more path. And then we decide the roof. So this is what it looks like from the normal uh, side we look at. I don't really like turning the camera very much, but um, yeah. Anyway, so let's get the decorations on the roofs now. Oh, this is really cool. I love this. Um, this roof, I think, can be there. We'll have a mini rooflet over there, mini rooflet over here, or potentially we could do two sideways ones like this. Uh, let's see what we want up here. Do we want to have the, this one? Or we can have the fancy one. I love that fancy one. That's very cool. Can we put a, another one on top like this? Yes, we can. Isn't that great? Wow. That's awesome. That is really cool. So on this one, I think what I'm going to do is do this one, two sideways ones. Oh, this is so cool. Love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. It's so good. Really good. It's looking like a proper beaver town. It's fantastic. Let's see. Um, that does, eh, it's fine. It, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Look at me going all fancy with the roofs and like these people are like, you know, KOS, we were here first and you still haven't allocated a roof for us. 
sad times. Look at this. We have already gotten 16 metal blocks. Happiness has been achieved. This is great stuff. Yes. All right. Excellent. Okay. So with the extra influx of logs, we should be able to make a little bit more progress. Oh, look at this. Our bridge is done. Oh, that's fantastic. I love it. Fan darn -tastic. It is great. Now they are making these things. Uh, we need planks for those. I guess what we can do is just increase the amount of planks we're sending as well. So let's change that to be 20. Now keep in mind, each of these areas, each of these posts can only hold 300 materials. So just be careful of what you're ordering. So this one, again, it has lots of stuff in it. I want to check... What do we got? Berries? 50 berries. Okay, that's not... Kind of not what we want, actually. Let's change berries. Instead of berries, I would rather have carrots. So let's turn off the berries. And instead, here, let's make sure that we're sending carrots and we can take off the berries. These are... Let's just make sure. Those... Yeah, they look like berries. Okay, so berries and... We do not have carrots. Sad times. Oh my gosh. No wonder. All right. So carrots are coming in. Yay. Oh, oh, they finished. They finished the stairways. And now they're working on the floodgates. Oh, that's exciting. That is really exciting. And now these guys are making the temple on the mount. And it's great. Now then, uh, what do we have here? We actually have way too much scrap metal. And this thing is not running. Uh, very much so i think what we need to do is we need to make sure that these windmills are then processed next so that we can have that going because that's really going to determine how fast we get many of the things done here okay keep on going folks let's go now we need definitely need some more research points wow these all oh, the warehouses are full that's a little bit annoying but it's okay we don't really want more production than that so we're actually quite happy about the situation okay so this windmill is done let's connect that one as well uh, we can just have a straight shaft there and that one is paused because we have tons and tons of power now this one i think we were going to do a high uh high power shaft for that so let's connect that one there Good, good. Okay, and this one is coming along swimmingly. We just need gears. We need tons and tons of gears. So what do we what do we have? We have tons of planks, but we don't have enough gears. So I want to make a gear maker. There we go. Gear workshop. Let's go. Oops, these were all going to be gears, weren't they? And I messed it up by putting the explosive factory in the middle. <laughs> no worries, everyone. It is fine. Do not worry. Uh, we're going to put this on high priority because we need gears immediately. We need them. All right. So I'm really happy so far with our progress today on stuff. This is really good. Really, really good. But we do need the dam here to make sure that this, because this flows all the way off the map and there's more metal there. So this flows into nowhere land. We really need to kind of dam this up and so we have stuff for later but having the explosives factory is going to change our lives considerably and i can't wait to show that to you because i think you're going to really like it i think you're going to enjoy that so anyway i think this is a good time to stop for today um and we will do some more definitely tomorrow so anyway thank you so very much for joining me take care of yourselves and each other and i'll see you next time